One reason Democrats are having trouble getting an agreement on this bill, and one reason only, and that's because it's so blatantly reckless. Here to mix it up is our panel senior advisor for the new Democrat Network, Alicia Menendez, and conservative talk radio host Martha Zoller. Martha, I'll start with you. Is there anybody in America not serving in our Congress at this point who is of the belief that either party would do anything other than spend money they didn't have to try to keep their jobs and create pretend solutions as opposed to actually providing leadership to solve obvious problems that have been accumulated over decades at this point? Well, no, and it's, it is a transparency issue. It is an issue where we've had major bills coming along, including this one, that are being negotiated behind closed doors that have all kinds of spending that's not germane to the issue. Look, Republicans did it too, and I was opposed to it then. This is wrong. If we're going to have war spending that is outside of the regular budget, that's all it should yeah. be. I mean, it's infinite. The, whole, the, the exploitation of the system to, man, to maneuver money it borders on comical. Alicia, do you feel that the recent activity in the primaries, that the anti-incumbency that we're seeing, that, that the the willingness to, to rattle the cage of both the status quo on the left and the right is a positive indication we may be building toward uh, an electorate that will demand actual change as opposed to just change as a campaign slogan. Well, I certainly hope so. Listen, I agree with your basic premise that what we need more than ever is leadership from members of both parties. We're talking about saving versus spending. It, it's not that simple. We want to get income and wages up. We want to get out of the financial mess that we're in. We want to have economic growth. In order to get our financial house in order, we have to first have that growth. So the question we need to be asking is, how do we complete this recovery? When is it complete? And then we can turn to getting our financial right, but, house but in order. How do you order. complete a recovery when the banking system is predicated on extracting money from people, not lending money to people, and when the government, Martha, is more interested in accommodating extractionary or exploitative policies as opposed to encouraging actual free enterprise and value creating policies as the PR of this country would have us believe, but as we know, uh, the, the body of evidence is pretty uh, contradictory to that. Well, and and the public sector is growing, and that doesn't work. But let's just look at the public sector for just a second. No, 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 let's not. I wanna, what I want to look at is the fact that the government, which is the only thing that I feel like we can influence, because there's a lot of guilty parties. Listen, if I could vote out corporate no, leaders. Well, Go ahead. But what I mean is federal workers haven't taken any kind of hits here. But instead, there are things that are put in the put in these, these bills. Who cares? The government right now is accommodating corporations. Yeah, I understand that. But before we get to cutting people's pay, I don't care private <laughs> or public, we have a government right now that is subsidizing unfunded credit gambling by the banks that is I, I, allowing... We've got to cut the spending. And, we've got to get it out of there. And so I don't see how we fix any of this nonsense until we fix a government that is willing to accommodate outdated businesses who are desperate to perpetuate their own profit margins at the expense of the total future of this country. We wouldn't let the horse and buggy guys take over the government to protect themselves from the car guys. We wouldn't let the whale blubber oil salesmen take over the country to protect them from electricity. But we have allowed both energy companies and, we, and financial companies to do exactly that because they're used to being rich. And we definitely no, need greater oversight. Oh, the Martha, you go first, and then Alicia, go ahead. No, you're 100% right on that. We have got to change the system. We need a major overhaul, yeah. not only of the private sector, but of the public yes. sector. Alicia, last word. Part of that overhaul, I think, needs to be comprehensive immigration reform. It would save $180 billion over just a few years. That's the type of big thinking sure. out of the box that we need. I, I don't mind that, but until we create a system where the politician's interest is not in pretending to solve the problem to make people like you and me happy and actually is interested in actually leading us to a solution, I, I get very skeptical. You should um, run for office, Dylan. No, no I, I'm running for cable guy. <laughs> it's going pretty well, actually. Uh, <laughs> right, so here. Uh, uh, nice to talk to you both. Uh, still Thanks, ahead George. and busted, the NRA's Eddie Eagle versus McGruff the crime dog. Who should be teaching your children gun safety, the NRA or McGruff?